Drive. <laughs> With the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high old silver, the Lone Ranger. With his fearless Indian friend, Tonto, the daring and resourceful masked rider of the plains, led the fight for law and order in the early West. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Hello. Right. And who's that lovely guy with you? This, this is my this is my honey. Uh-huh. Hi. This is Bill. How long have you been married to Bill? 29 years. Lived here 30. Been married 29. Years. Kings Point grad. Yep. Yep. All good. 75. All good. Class of 75. Thank you very much. Okay. So oh. this is a uh, this is for your Airbnb. This is the shower and the bathroom. Oh, nice. Look at this. Let's look at this. Yeah. This is beautifully done. So you made a strictly for B&B or RV? No, we did it for guests. And we also did it thinking that, you know, we want to stay in this house, so this way we can rent it to people to help take care of the property or us. Or we can put an elevator in from downstairs and rent the main house. So what do you call this room? Um, we call it the the uh, Garden View Suite. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> yeah, but um, and, but it also is interesting because because especially like the, the rare times it gets really warm, mm. it has the Ooh, close ventilation. Look at that. Know, which is nice. I and, like you know, this loft. Usually when you're up here, you're not really looking at cars. You're just looking at the extra trees. You know? What a neat thing. But my that. brother built it. Uh, I laid it out and designed it. Bill put in the floor. He never put in a hardwood floor before. He did a good job. Beautiful. Bill built the bookcase. Um, this one of our first guests here, if you were tennis players, was Andy Murray. Yes. Who is mm -hmm. number two in the world this right at the moment, but he oh. was number one. And Andy was here when Bella was a baby. Oh, oh he was a young man then. He was just a very young man. But we keep it here because every once in a while we have guests that are um, tennis that are tennis players, and they really oh, you know Andy Murray. Yes, we know when so very well. So, various pieces in my work, I did that when I was in college. Okay, beautiful. I loved Helen Frankenthaler. Mm -hmm. This is more recent. This is a print. Um, it's a combination of etching and other printmaking sure. techniques. Um, Where's your etching printer? I heard I'll show you oh. downstairs. Okay. But I can show you more downstairs. Beautiful. So, what do you go to uh, art school in? I went to San Jose State University, and I also went to California College of Arts and Crafts in Bill built that pergola. He's very um, Bill still gets access to the uh, tools, but actually I use them a lot because I do a lot of the framing and things that we do, um, that I do. Um, this is the etching press. Do you guys have been here? And that's the, that actually currently is the cover picture on my website. And that's an etching, and it's actually an etching done at another etching place in San Francisco oh. called Crown Point Press. Which is, if you're ever in the city and you remember this from the video, you should go visit it. It's very interesting. Beautiful old building in San Francisco. And they sell the work, they print the work and sell the work of the most famous artists in the world. Right. Whereabouts in San Francisco is it? It's uh, third and, uh, it's near the Museum of Modern Art. MoMA. Yeah. Okay. And uh, I was just saying to Martha that um, I, I, in between I still do landscape design and you probably can't get a very good picture because I haven't finished what I'm doing here. But basically I'm taking an, uh, an old property and starting to work on ideas for a new design, a layout for them. So you're also a drafts person. Yeah, that's, that's kind of easy. <laughs> I mean, designing isn't easy because there's a lot of, a lot of awkward situations in an existing property. So, first of all, you have to get around the awkward situations, and then, which is probably good. It's mm. not like a blank canvas. You've got something to start with. Anyway, um, so in this room, um, back over there is um, is a light unit and a vacuum frame uh, for doing um, photographic plates, which is not my favorite thing to do, but I can do it. Mm -hmm. And over here is the beginning of an experiment. It isn't finished art, although I kind of like this one. Um, mm. 
Um, and I kind of like this thing. I don't know if it's done yet, but I oh, find it nice and delicate. So anyway, it's, it, it's Very complicated to explain what that is. But here's something. I don't know whether you can get a good picture of it, but here's something interesting. This is a... Um, this is what's this is called dry point, okay? And it, I'm actually scratching through um, a cardboard plate that has been sealed, mm -hmm. and with a fine needle to do the drawing. Mm. And then once you do the drawing, you wipe over it. This is what the etching aspect of it. You wipe over it with ink until mm -hmm. you finally have the top surface white, and only the grooves have the ink in them. <sighs> so this oh. is. Mm. This is down towards Moss Landing. You can barely see the towers. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. um, this is sort of a back view from one of the beaches that most people don't know how to get to. Um, kind of romantic in a way. <laughs> um, really but that really comes really. from that plate. Mm -hmm. And none of them will be exactly the same because they're hand inked, they, they change. Sure, you know? sure. Um, and it's, um, you, calligraphy, you put it, you raise the surface instead of dropping okay. the surface. And so when you wipe over the ink over this, again, you get a pattern, um, depending on how you ink it. So I'll show you one of those. Sure. Um, this, is, this is just the begin. Be it's not the final print, but it's the beginning of what comes off of that plate. Mm. So I usually work back into it with other colors. Okay. Now, are also something I Two thousand pounds of pressure. And um, so here is um, uh, this is a ends up being a palm tree, but this is a this is a woodcut um, where the raised surface is mm -hmm. what got inked. Um, this is a different one. I just used the back of the board. This was a kind of an abstracted ocean thing. Yeah, so that's it looks like I it. like hand carving. So that's what how you do that. How long did it take you to produce that? It's hard to know. Because, you know, you work on it on and off. I would say carving into this probably took 20 hours. Wow. This might have taken less. Mm -hmm. But I did. there's two plates, so there's two to get that print. Sure. Let me see if I can find it. I, if this could take forever. Projection um, done with calligraphy and lino cut and mono printing. How talented. How many years have you been doing this type of... Well... I went to college, but I've had the last 30 years to do this. I mean, you know, to work on this end of things. Um, How much would that be? Um, wholesale is a thousand. Retail is two thousand or more. Wow. Mm. Beautiful. So you mean wholesale? You have this is in progress. It'll end up being quite abstract. The 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 rose patterns on here. Paper. Right. This is called Gampy. And it's Japanese paper, and you can you can run it through the printing press and even print over it, and it becomes part of it. Mm. So you can play with it in a in kind of like collage, mm -hmm. um, but it's more sophisticated than collage, and it becomes more a part of the paper. Sure. Um, so that's kind of like that. <laughs> so come on, the advertising for a series of videos he did going into Cuba. Sure. Um, with artists in Cuba, his name is Bob Freemark. Okay. Tom has a friend at Carnival in San Francisco. Mm -hmm. He took a picture and then started yeah, and then and then 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 she was I couldn't catch that movement um, mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. as a as a silly model. Ooh, we, ooh, we, 
Should I stay or go? Let me love you like the lover <laughs> that you used to know. Turn the key and let me in through that same old door. I had it, but I lost it. Now I've got a broken heart to mend. Well, listen, I don't care what the cost is. I know I got to find my way back in. Snap your finger, baby, I'll come running. I'll do anything to get back again. But I lost it. Now I've got a broken heart to mend. But baby, listen, I don't care what the cost is. I've got to find my way back in. So if you just snap your. F-